uh, I was in the driveway. I called, well, my landlord had called me back to check on me and to tell me that he was actually on his way. Um, so when he arrived, he ended up uh, salting, you know, the driveway. And uh, what God told me about that was that, hmm, nobody takes care of um, property like the owner. Mm -hmm. And what God was showing me was that sometimes we, as far as healing is concerned, we look to so many other people. And it's the same thing that the guy I was trying to look to, you know, instead of the person who owns and created our bodies, mm -hmm. which is God, you know. Um, and, you know, nobody, I mean, my landlord's name was on the line. He could have been sued or whatever. You know what I mean? He's a liability. The same thing with God. His name is on the line. So, you know what I mean? Um, he's the person that knows how to take care of us best as far as healing is concerned. Um, but it's weird. When my landlord came, he asked me if I had front wheel or rear wheel drive. I'm like, just get me out. Like, this is all these test questions, right? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and he, when he, he did get me out, and then he told me what I had. You know, he was like, yeah, you have rear wheel drive. I'm like, okay. You know, <laughs> am I out? But what God told me in that is um, knowing how your body works, your anatomy will help us heal. Um, and this is so key in my own healing and deliverance. When I'm dealing with spirits of infirmity, I, it helps me to know that my immune system is located in the bone marrow of, you know, in my bone marrow, because then I can speak to that bone marrow mm -hmm. and command it to do the white, you know, the white blood cells to do what it's supposed to do. Um, so, and also our hypothalamus gland, you know, it helps to know that that regulates the hormones and everything in our bodies, um, because you want to know, you want to be specific when you're speaking to these things to command your body to be healed. Okay? So don't be afraid of getting to know your body. I think a lot of the times we put that um, responsibility on other people. Like, you know, I'm like, well, as long as the mechanic knows what's going on, that's fine. But my mechanic wasn't with me last night. Right. You know? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was a lesson there. And the way that I'm parked, it's hard for me to get out on the side. And I never really thought anything about it. But he was like, you should turn around <laughs> and back in and park. And then it'll be easy for you. You'll be right by the door. I'm like, oh. you know. <laughs> so what I learned from that was that um, that's God's grace. God's grace is really teaching us how, you know, how to maintain, how to be healed, how to maintain it. Um, but also, it comes with bonuses and perks. When I was healed, I don't know how many of you know my story, but when I was healed of all these major illnesses, like you know lupus and MCSEI, um, there were some bonuses, like sinusitis, sinus, sinusitis. Yes, that. <laughs> that left, I didn't even have to ask for that, you know? I had like cavities that were like bothering me and I, you know, I'm not bragging about this, but I haven't been to a dentist for like six, seven years or whatever. And they don't bother me anymore. You know, Amen. things just leave. That's, that's the bonus of going to God for healing. Now, when we go to the enemy for healing, he subtracts stuff, you know what I mean? Um, you get all these side effects or whatever, but God gives you bonuses you didn't even ask for. And that's what happened with me with the landlord last night. You know, I just asked him to get me out of the driveway. He gave me a whole new um, way to, to park in the port that made it easier for me. And he, what he also did was set me up for the direction that I needed to go in the morning. And that's the same thing God does with his graces. He sets me up for the direction that we need, sets us up, sets us up for the direction we need to go in life and maintaining our healing. Okay? So anyway, that was, you know, what happened to me last night. And I'm like, okay, God, I see, you know, where you're going here.